Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ from the Father Division. Uh, this is Abby Charles here coming from Divisional Headquarters to uh, share with you our virtual graduation for our conservatory we had back in July, 20th through the 24th. We had an exciting week with our young people, our young artists, and we had the opportunity to share with them brass lessons, guitar lessons. We also had dance in the theater, uh, percussion, and we also had music production, and we really had a fantastic time. And at this time, before we get into it, I just want to take the time to say thank you to a few folks who made this possible. And in Florida, we're blessed to have some wonderful volunteers at the local core who joined Daryl and Sabrina and I to uh, give the best that we had uh, to our young people this, this summer. So Dan Bowles from the Venice Corps, thank you. Frankie Pinedo from West Palm Beach, thank you. Sherry Daniels, Orlando, and Sarah Daniels, thank you so much. Rodney G, who's at Asbury, thank you so much while he was here, he helped us. Brianna James from Orlando, thank you. Miss Mojo, Marjorie Joseph, thank you so much for our wonderful uh, battle of the, of the clans that we had. Kayla Prieto, thank you. Eric Bernardin, thank you. Jordan Mullins, thank you. And Nathan Farrell, thank you as well for all your help. And I cannot forget E.B., who was also a great help with us. We also had some special guests who came um, every day to help us. And I will also want to give them a shout out. So, Vania Claiborne, thank you. Nicole Cassero, thank you. They both were um, in our dance classes that we offered. Nick Simmons Smith, our TMS, was also available to us and did a wonderful uh, theory lesson uh, with our kids. Chris Hoffer and Bernie Dick did our percussion. We want to say thank you to them. And Dr. Lori Lawrence was also available to our kids who were learning about theater. And I also want to give a shout out to Lionel Martinez, who came in and helped us with our private lessons for our percussion players. So right now, just sit back and sit back and relax, and please enjoy our virtual conservatory graduation. Hey guys, I'm going to tell you a verse. First Timothy 4.12 Don't let anyone look down on you because they are young, but Be an example to the believers in what you teach. In speech, in conduct, in love, faith, and, and impurity. impurity. Thank you for joining us for our virtual conservatory um, final festival. Uh, my name is Daryl Crossland and I'm the Assistant Divisional Music Director here in Florida. And I want to introduce our brass um, kids. Uh, we had over 25 kids in four different levels, which was a lot. Some were um, complete beginners and some were pretty advanced and you'll hear from them a little bit later on. But for now, we have two representatives of our uh, beginner brass. The first one is Malisha Joseph with God is So Good. And then we'll hear from Diego Fernandez with the level two excerpt. See you guys soon. Ha, ha, ha. Setting. So that was really great. Um, 
I'm looking forward to next year when we can hopefully all get together again. Um, I can't wait to see the growth that happens in still and uh, to be able to make music together again. Hey everyone, my name is Nikki Casero. I was the Jameson Intermediate Dance Instructor. Um, I had so much fun um, being with everyone and sharing my knowledge and uh, this beautiful blessing that we had. Um, I especially enjoyed um, participating and um, doing this virtually with everyone. Um, I hope everyone enjoys and God bless. Conservatory this summer and we want to say thank you for these free shirts. We got to work with you on all things percussion and we hope that you had a great time. Now, now we're going to hear from two of our students who are going to be playing an excerpt from one of the etudes we worked on throughout the week. Enjoy. Part of the virtual conservatory. It was really great. Yeah, and it was wonderful to be able to support our kids across the division. 
got to know them really well through all the Zoom classes and saw some great progress. Thanks. Hi, I'm Sabrina Kemper, your Divisional Creative Arts Director, and I had the honor of working with the theater majors. We dove into the basics of acting on film with technique classes each morning that focused on a variety of topics, including calibrating performances based upon shot size and angle, hitting marks, emotional and physical continuity, the strength of the imagination, and more. Each evening we shared in a performance class where they put the technical skills to the task. A highlight was our midweek session which we shared with Florida's local creative arts leaders and a special guest professional producer, writer, actor, and director Rory Lawrence. I enjoyed my time with Rebecca and Cameron who are really our two shining stars in our vision. I pray that you will enjoy them as well in their presentation of The Spot by Melinda Witten with minor adaptions by yours truly. All right, Sarah, digital game night for the win. Am I right? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Whoa. I know. <laughs> Pretty bad, huh? Wait. Well, it's big. There's no missing it. Thanks. Sorry. Okay, let's go. What? No, I, I can't play with that just sitting there. It's awful. What are you going to do? Everyone will be joining the game in like five minutes. We were going to take advantage of the extra time and strategize. I can't focus on strategy right now. Ugh. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I think I can just, you know, there. Don't you think that's a little bit obvious and a bit distracting? Ugh. No, right, you're right. There. Okay, Sarah, that looks ridiculous. It's obvious to try to cover something up and just leave it alone. It's a spot. Who cares? Let's talk about strategy and, like, before we run out of time. I can't focus on that right now. Someone will come in and notice it, and then what will they think? That there's a spot in your room? No. What will they think about me? That they're a crazy lady looking at a spot? Sarah, it seems like... You're the only one worried about the spot. I really don't think anyone else will care about it's it. It's pretty ugly, Jason. No. No, it's not. I mean, I, I've seen other... Listen, my cousin once had a spot so large. You know, sometimes a spot comes along and it, and it can be good. Okay, you're right. It's, it's pretty ugly. Seriously? Why? I, why do I attract spots? I'm just... Spot attractor. I'm like the Pied Piper of spots. <sighs> you know, um, I had a spot. You? Was it, you know, noticeable? It would have made that one look like a pebble. Honestly? I really worried about that spot, and it seemed so big, and my eyes were drawn to its dirtiness and its irregular shape. You know, I tried everything to get it out. I worked so hard. I tried covering it up, too. First, a watermelon, then some books. Days passed, then weeks, months. I was losing myself in that stupid spot. I hated that spot. I was ashamed of that spot. I regret my spot so much. Trust me, I get it. I know. I mean, I know how it got there, and I don't ever, ever, ever want to go there again. So you intentionally focus on it. Right, right, because if I, you know, cover it up and keep it covered so that no one notices it, if I don't look at it and think about it every single day, then I'll just... Have a life? Make a difference? Walk in grace? Get some help? Or even... 
help someone else? What? Sarah, everyone has spots. Not like that one. Worst mistake I've ever made. I only noticed the spot because you were looking at it. My eyes are drawn to where you were looking at. Hey, Sarah, look at me. Come on, look at me. There you go. What do you see? A friend. So do I. That's all I see. Just a friend who's been cooped up and letting a spot to find them for too long. So, can we get back to business now? Yeah, I'd like that. All right, for our guitar class uh, for Virtual Conservatory, we had two students, uh, Sofia Fernandez from Orlando and Rod Dillon from Fort Charlotte. And throughout the week, we used the contemporary guitars uh, level one to learn chords, like the G chord, E minor, D, C, just to help them to get a concept of what it takes to play chords on the sheet. But our representative for our class, uh, for our graduation, will be Sofia Fernandez, who's been taking lessons with me for the past uh, 18 weeks. And she not only learned how to play chords in virtual conservatory, but she also learned how to play guitar the classical way. So please enjoy Sofia Fernandez's um, rendition of the swan um, that she learned throughout our lessons together. Hi everybody, my name is Vanita Claiborne and I got the pleasure to teach the Graham Advanced Dancers. Um, dancers, thank you so much for journeying with me this summer. I know it's one to remember having to learn virtually, but you guys rocked it. I know you killed it. Uh, thank you for challenging me um, by having to think about ways to move differently or move inside the house, but also a good chance for us to learn to remember God's promises all together for a bit. I hope you enjoyed the dance. I hope it stays with you. I know I've been thinking about ways, man, how can I incorporate more of what guys do into my my life and the way that I'm dancing and I hope that's something you can take away with so thank you guys so much for having me I hope to see you in person sometime soon um, and have a great rest of the year faithful through the ages God of Abraham you're the God of covenants and faithful promises and time again you have proven you do just what you say though the storms may come and the winds may blow i'll remain steadfast and let my heart learn when you speak a word it will come to pass great is your faith
Hey friends, thanks for joining us for our virtual conservatory final festival. Now you're going to hear from our Longino band, which is our advanced band. They're going to be playing a tune, This is Amazing Grace by Stephen Gula. Hope you enjoy. participating with our music and arts conservatory this summer. Boy, we know COVID has been crazy, but it was fun to do something different and to connect in some form or fashion. Now, I got a couple of thank yous that I want to share out because this doesn't just happen. Uh, there is a lot of work. I know it was just one week long, but there was weeks of work that went into leading up to this youth council. Uh, not youth councils. Look, COVID's got me going crazy. To this conservatory. Um, and what we did uh, as a department was incredible, but there were a few key people here that really pulled this off and made it work. And so I want to give a shout out, and I want you to help me in thanking Mr. Adelie Charles, the DMV at the Florida Division. We got his partner, Daryl Crossland, who pulled together and worked it out. Let me tell you, y'all, they would have been lost without Sabrina. Kemper coming in strong with the audio, the video, and getting it done. These three people killed it for you because they love you and they love to see how you develop and grow more in your musical and arts capabilities, but also how you grow closer to God. There was also a host of other volunteers and special guests that so we had some THQ uh, special guests jump in and help us. So thank THQ the next time you see some of them for what they did for our conservatory. And we had, a, we had volunteers literally from all across the country. 
Um, and that was all because of you and because you are important to us and to them. And so I just want you to, to know how proud we are of you for being on board with this virtual music and arts conservatory. I want you to know how much I appreciate the team and the staff that pulled together to present this for you. And we just want you to know most of all that we love you. You've got people here at DHQ that love you. And we want to see you and we want to be with you. And as COVID's crazy and just keeps going on, just know that we are here for you. Reach out to us, whether that's an email or a phone call. Hit us up on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. I'm trying to learn what all that means, but maybe you already know it. So come and follow us. Hit us up. We want to see you and we will see you over these next few days. So until we meet again, keep on pushing and know that we love you and God bless you.
well, Hadley Cam was great. Conservatory was great. They had 15, 16 kids, and they are all having talking about such a great. I had a great time getting online, working with the beginners, and just looking forward to next year. You guys did a great job. Congratulations. Next year is gonna be even better. <laughs>